This video explains exponents from Unit 7, Lesson 2. What are exponents? In previous units, we worked with prime factor trees to find the prime factorization of numbers. Often, there are factors that repeat in a prime factorization. In the example I'm doing here, you'll see that 81 factors into 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. We can write repeated multiplication like this in a different way. We can multiply all the threes together and write the number as this way. A more efficient way to write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 to the fourth power. This is, an, is a power. So let's break down what exactly a power is. There are two parts to a power. You have something called a base, and then you have something called an exponent. You need both of these numbers in order to have a power. What the base does is it tells you the number that is being multiplied. So, in the case of our example before, we have the number 3 being multiplied. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. The exponent number tells you the number of times the number is being multiplied. So in the case of 3 to the 4th power, we have a 3 being multiplied 4 times. It's important that we don't confuse 3 to the 4th power, which is written as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. It's important that we don't confuse it as 3 times 4, because those are not the same thing. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. It is not the same as 3 times 4, which is 12. Let's practice writing some repeated multiplication as powers. Let's say I have the number 6 multiplied 5 times. My base would be 6. And since it's being multiplied five times, my exponent is five. And I would say this as six to the fifth power. Let's say I have the number two being multiplied three times. My base would be two, and my exponent would be three. Or I can say this as two to the power of three, or two to the third power. Many large numbers can be written as powers of 10. There is a pattern to how we write these numbers. The number 100 has two zeros in it. So it's written as a multiplication problem with two tens. I can write it as 10 times 10. I can then write this as a power, 10 to the second power, or 10 squared. The number 1,000 has three zeros, so I can write that as 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the third power. The number 10,000 has four zeros, so I can write that as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the fourth power. This is a pattern. A 10 is added to the repeated multiplication for each zero in the number. What would be 100,000? How would you write that as repeated multiplication and as an exponent? We can also use exponents to make large numbers easier to read. Let's look at how we rewrite the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is 93 
million miles. I can use powers of 10 to simplify the number 93 million. I'm going to start with the number 93 million, then I'm going to pull out the tens. And I do this because I know I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So I know that I have 6 tens, but I can't forget about this 93. So I'm going to make sure that I multiply it by 93 as well. So now I have 93 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. However, I can rewrite all these 10s as a power. I can write that as 10 to the 6th power. But I have to make sure that I carry that 93 down as well. So I can rewrite this as 93 times 10 to the 6th power. It's a more efficient way to write 93 million. Using powers is a more efficient way to write large numbers.